Pisces, it is Sunday and it is January 8th today. Let's see what your tarot cards are today for our daily get together. Let's see what's going on in your energy, what you need to be aware of. What is happening in Pisces' current energy, spirits? There you are. That's Pisces energy, the Queen of Cups. And it looks like you're single. Um, I feel like something's, you know, there's a single feeling here. And I feel like you're feeling comfortable financially in some way. You may not have everything you want, but there's, there's something about you being comfortable here with the Nine of Pentacles. Sorry, you guys, I keep forgetting to turn off the air conditioner. Uh-oh. I don't want the heat on. Okay. So let's see what's happening here, Pisces. Spirits, what does Pisces need to know? What's happening with Pisces? Okay, so you have the king of the king of error. It's your very first card. I don't know who that is, but we'll find out. That's not you. And then you have the magician. The three of water. Someone else is showing up here with you. Pisces, these cards, these ones are really big. Spirits, what does Pisces need to know? Okay, so you have seven of water. There's someone here thinking about you. The page of earth is in the center of your reading. And then you have seven of air. Sounds like fireworks are going off again. Things might be really still, really quiet right now, Pisces, for you. But I'm feeling like fireworks are about ready to go off. Something's getting ready to happen here. You have the ace of swords. You may even feel a sense of loneliness. You have the Ten of Fire. And your last card here for your reading is the world. On the bottom of the deck, you have the Queen of Earth. And you have the Hierophant. And we have the three of three of error here, which is the three of swords. So yeah, there's I'm I'm feeling like there is a bit of sadness um or loneliness. Something feels a little bit empty here in your heart. So let's see let's see who this person is here in your energy, because you've got this king of swords here. This may be an air sign, um, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, but we'll find out. Okay, I'm just going to shuffle these one more time, Get have the energy going through them really good. Why is the king of air here? Spirits, who is this? Okay. This is someone that you're up in your mind about, Pisces. This queen of cups is you. It's like you're moving on into calmer water, 
but there's someone here that you keep thinking about and it's this king of air which i'm going to clarify there he is again right there the king of swords the same energy something here that you're worried about i definitely see your back facing me like you're moving um in a different direction why is the king of swords here four of cups whoever this person is pisces the four of cups is here so this is someone who missed an opportunity with you it's like you offered this person your cup your love and they um are sitting here with their arms crossed not even looking at it so this this card means a missed opportunity let's find out more about this why is the king of swords here i feel like there was an argument here it could have involved other people um and so now since this argument has taken place there's this this feeling of sadness in your energy because you're looking back at time spent with this person you know you you spent a lot of your time with this person and energy your love you gave your love and now it's like this person doesn't even recognize what you gave to them with this four of cups they're not even acknowledging it here why is the magician here so you're in this magician energy pisces and you're you know you're moving forward but there's a lingering sadness in your energy here you have the queen of swords not just sadness but there's a feeling of um like putting up boundaries putting up walls i feel like if this person were to contact you you would hear them out you'd hear what they have to say but you know the truth here and the energy of the queen of swords you know the truth of what happened of why this cup is being rejected now it's really sad you may have been dealing with a gemini but you have the lovers and the ten of cups just fall out in reverse here and um they came out in reverse because there was a lot of love shared between the two of you but now something's not right and the ten of cups the happiness in this connection it's not there instead it's been replaced with a cold energy you have the king and the queen of swords so i'm feeling like there was some words spoken between you and someone else the next card you have is the three of cups okay so you're you're like this this is your pisces energy here you are um boy you're trying to to reflect back i can see that here pisces and look at things from their point of view i feel like there might there may be like a third party involved here because we have the three of cups and the three of swords you're trying to process everything here but this person kind of is leaving you hanging the two of wands it's like trying to decide which direction to go in but something here is about ready to change because we have the wheel of fortune you're feeling like everything is still right now is what i feel like nothing's happening that's why you have the two of wands here and the hangman like nothing's happening but with the wheel of fortune something here is getting ready to change pisces oh what is this 
it's like you're coming you're coming up with a new plan here with the page of wands there's a new plan that you're working on and um this knight of pentacles this may have been an earth sign you were dealing with a taurus virgo or a capricorn but as you're in the energy here of the page of wands coming up with a new plan trying to decide which direction you want to go in here um there's someone here coming up behind you they're showing up as the knight of pentacles so this is someone who's not quite taking action yet but i feel like this person's trying to come up with a plan also be because you have your back to them it's like you're not you're not going to break down and speak to this person i feel like you're waiting for them to come to you and say something to you this person scorned you in some way because you're the queen of swords here but you're looking at other options with the seven of water why is the seven of water here this is your energy looking at other options other than dealing with someone who's caused you heartbreak you have the devil yeah the three of cups is on the bottom of the deck again the third party you may have been dealing with a capricorn here um wow I'm going to clarify the devil separately, but there's there's someone here attached to you energetically that I'm feeling like is, is going from the stopped position of the Knight of Swords, I mean the Knight of Pentacles, into actually like making a decision here to communicate with you, to get a hold of you in some way. Why is the devil here? Why is the devil here? This, this devil energy, the six of wands is wanting you to recognize them, Pisces. Why is the knight of swords here? I feel like this person is actually working on some way um, to contact you. We have the Three of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands here. The Nine of Wands, this is someone who hasn't given up yet. So there's someone here that wants to contact you. And I feel like... There's a stuck energy here, like maybe they can't. I'm seeing that you have walls and boundaries up around you, and I feel like you already heard this person out once. Because I'm seeing up here with the Queen of Swords energy, it's like you've already heard them out. So you may have blocked communication now because they might have screwed it up again. It's like they tried to come back around here. Let's see. In the center of your reading, you have the Page of Earth. Why is the Page of Earth here? Here you are, Pisces, trying to make a decision. You're keeping your feelings to yourself. Um, and you keep going back and forth about this person. Whoever this is, they might be younger than you. They keep showing up as a younger energy. Let's see, here they are. King of Swords. King of Swords, King of Pentacles. This person likes to face you like with the same energy that you're facing them with, though. I mean, they like to look you straight in the eye and face you. 
But there's an energy here of ghosting. Again, we have the Four of Swords. And you keep going back and forth in your mind trying to figure something out with the Two of Pentacles. This might be a Taurus you were dealing with, but this is someone that you were in a committed relationship with. You had, you had some type of commitment with this person, Pisces. Um, this could be someone that you were going to work with or you worked with. The next card you have is you have the Seven of Error. So this person may have deceived you in some way. Um, I would be cautious with this person, Pisces, because I feel like they do have the best of intentions when they say things, what they say to you. They're showing up here as they have the best of intentions. But the problem is, is this person's all over the place. This person has the, the best of intentions with everybody and they can't please everybody. So someone's going to be left in the cold. Why is the Seven of Swords here? See, something that you're least expecting is getting ready to happen and it's going to come out of the blue from the Seven of Swords energy. It's someone that you don't trust their word. This person's going to um, come back wanting this new start with you with this Ace of Pentacles. I'm wanting to work on things. But I don't trust them. Why is this here? Why is the Ace of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles here, Spirits? I feel like you're putting your energy into yourself here. You have the world. See, eight plus an ace, this is nine of pentacles. So you're putting your, your work into yourself, Pisces. And there's something here about your money. All of a sudden, some type of shocking news of um, some type of material gain coming, showing up here for you. It's like you're, you're busting through some type of success. That's going to put you on a whole different world, a whole different level here when it comes to your money. Why is the world here? The star, something that you're wishing for. This is Aquarius energy. I see the person that we're talking about here. They're, they're on the bottom of the deck. The two of swords closed off. Not making a decision. And I feel like they're not making a decision, Pisces, because they're afraid to face you. They betrayed you. This person puts you through a tower moment. Um, but you definitely are, you know, you're emptying out these cups. You're emptying out your emotions when it comes to this person. And you're moving on into working on your money and a wish fulfillment here. And for some of you guys, this person isn't going to say anything. I'm getting that message here because they're, they don't want to show their face. The next card you have is success. A lot of success. The Ace of Swords. See, look at this. Okay, so um, you will get communication from whoever this is. You have the Ace of Wands next to him right now. Why is this here? The Eight of Cups. They're going to come walking back around again, Pisces. This is communication, and I feel like whoever this is, they do... Um, they do want to tell you the truth. They do want a new start with you, Pisces. This is messages going back and forth. And I'm not sure what their intentions are here. Because 
I'm picking up a hesitation right here. Like they want to break through. They want to start working with you again. And there's something difficult happening in this person's life. Something that they they weren't expecting. And um, so this closed off energy here. I'm seeing communication and a lot of passion. And them coming back around again. But there's a delay here. Don't expect them to show up tomorrow. Say maybe in the next 30 days you should, within the next 30 days you'll hear from them. The next card you have is you have the Ten of Fire. Why is the Ten of Fire here? Okay, so you have the Page of Pentacles. This is like the same energy that we keep getting, you know, the past few days. There's someone here that you're connecting with, Pisces, on a deep emotional level. This is someone that you wanted to give your cup to. This person was giving it back to you, but then they betrayed you. And they will, they will be back here with an apology and... I'm feeling like this person, whoever you're dealing with here, they have a lot of baggage. And wherever they took off to, when they took off, it's come to an ending here. Like karma got them. They caused you pain. They went and did something new um, and kind of ghosted you here, with the, gave you the cold shoulder. And... Now they're receiving the same, the same treatment. Why is the Ten of Swords here? And they're showing up here as, um, well, a soul connection and someone that's thinking about you right now. And also, this might be a Leo. We have strength on the bottom of the deck going through a very difficult, difficult time in their life. But next card we have here is we have the world. Why is the world here? You've already ended this Pisces and you've moved on. Although this person is still on your mind. They're ghosted. There's no communication. This person's probably broke. Financially broken. Again, they show up here as the King of Swords. Let's look at them. The Knight of Cups coming back with an emotional offer, a message. These Knights are action take takers. This is someone taking action. And... This could be someone you were married to or someone that you have children with. It doesn't have to be. But this person is showing me right here when they come back that they want to marry you. They want to have it all with you. This is what they're offering. But I'm wondering, I'm, you know... I don't know... Hold on, let me ask Spirit specifically, why is the world showing up here? I'm feeling like the world is here because this is um, something that has ended and they're trying to step back into it again. Specifically, why is the world here? The Three of Wands, they still have hope. And this is distance, so this person may be at a distance from you. With the Three of Wands in the world, they could very well be at a distance from you. Okay, so let's look into your future and let's clarify these last two cards here. Because the last two cards you have is the Queen of Earth and the Hierophant. Let me just pick up these cards. Somebody put you in a third party is what I see. And I feel like you know it in your heart. You know there's, you know, you're the, you're the high priestess. 
you know what's hidden behind the veil. They don't have to come out and tell you nothing you already know. Okay. So let's clarify this Queen of Earth and the Hierophant. You are probably someone who's very spiritual, Pisces, and you you could be a mother. Um, there, I'm not looking at the gender here, but I'm picking up the energy of a mother's kind of love. And I feel like there's something here that you do financially that is a spiritual thing for some of you, not for everyone. Why is the Queen of Earth here? You have the Divine right next to you, Pisces. And I'm seeing it's like you're actually facing the Divine. The Hierophant is the Divine. The Page of Wands. See, the Page of Wands is a new plan. You're trying to come up with a new plan. And I'm really picking up this feeling of loneliness with this new start. But you're not telling anyone that on the outside you you know you look like everything's good you look happy like you're taking care of what you need to take care of but there's this sense of loneliness that you keep to yourself hermit virgo energy you're in hermit mode here keeping to yourself walking a path alone right now and i feel like there's a reason even though you, you know, you may feel like, like you really want someone by your side now. I, with the divine showing up next to you, I'm feeling like there's a reason why you need to walk this path alone right now. Why is the Hierophant here? Here you are, Pisces, the High Priestess. This is you. You're very blessed with the Ace of Cups. Very, very blessed. And the Divine is here with you. Um, and then you have the Eight of Cups. So see, even though you're walking away, you can see that you're walking away in this card right here and you're walking away from cups that are still full where you know you have a lot of love to give here i'm seeing you walking alone and it's dark outside um it's like a dark starry night the divine is telling you that you're not alone though i want to find out who's with you here Your intuition's telling you you're not alone. Why is the Ace of Cups here? <coughs> Sorry, Pisces. You're, you know, you need to walk alone for a short period of time here. You're showing up as the Magician. And you're very blessed with this Ace of Cups. And you're the Queen of Pentacles here. So you are someone who other people come to when they need help. Is what I'm feeling here. And you are like a gift to other people. Um, if, if people need help, it's like you're here, Pisces. Even animals. I see like a dog beside you here. Why is the High Priestess here? But you're on a spiritual journey right now. And so it's just, I don't know how to explain to you that it's just important that for right now you, you walk this alone. You have the Ace of Wands. 
There will be someone new coming into your life, Pisces, with love. But I'm feeling like there's a period of time here where you need to spend some time alone. And then you have the Three of Cups. And maybe spend time with friends, family. Why is the Three of Cups here? Seven of Cups. The moon. You're not seeing it yet. Um, the moon is here. This is you. I see you again in the dark and alone. Feeling a loneliness. Um, but there... Wow, there's someone new here that's going to show up. This, this person, it's almost like they're, they're reaching their hand out here through a screen. It's like there's somebody here, but you're not seeing them quite yet. Let me go back to you over here. Why is the hermit here? The two of cups. Why is the Two of Cups here? You have the Hangman and you have the... Yeah. Yeah, you just don't see... You don't see this person yet. This could even be a past energy for some of you. Because look at this. I have you, the Hangman, and I have the Ten of Pentacles. There, there's a self-sacrificing energy coming from you, Pisces, where you sacrifice for your family, your children. And um, I'm seeing the Ten of Pentacles is like a marriage. I'm seeing here that there will be someone coming into your life. But right now, there's, um, there's a time frame where you need to be in this hangman self-sacrificing energy hermit mode and it's for a reason it's for a purpose um but there there will be someone new showing up here you have the two of swords and the four of wands so someone watching me right now is saying no i don't want anyone new um, and is closed off to this, but I see next to you saying that I see like a marriage here with someone that's coming into your future. And then you have this king of swords again. So for some of you, not all of you, this is that past energy, the, the king of swords, where we started off this reading, where there's a block in communication. And for someone watching me right now, um, someone's worried about their health. Let me look into that for you. The King of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. Why is this here? Okay, so I'm getting the person, that person showing up again who walked away. I'm seeing them sending you message here, messages here, Pisces. They may, they may be the ones who aren't feeling well. This is someone that you invested a lot of time and effort and energy and love. They're showing up here again under this King of Swords energy. Someone who's, someone who's in their right mind thinking clearly. This is an Emperor, Aries energy, and you have strength right next to it. This is someone in their ego that um, they they just don't want to they just don't want to show their face, you know. They don't want to admit to something. Tell me about Pisces Pisces help the Pisces that's watching me. Okay, so you have death on the bottom of the deck and the hermit. Someone's dealing with a Scorpio. I'm feeling like you're you're going to be okay here, Pisces. 
And this might be why you need to walk this journey alone right now is because there's something here about your health that you need to work on. And that might be this time that is needed right now. This is just a, like a very specific message for someone. There is healing here. There is a healing energy. But you're kind of feeling like this. You feel tired. You feel exhausted. Um, you feel sick. You m may feel like sleeping a lot here. But you're going to be okay. I feel like you keep this to yourself, Pisces, with the Seven of Swords. There's some type of communication or truth that you keep to yourself. And it's like you're working on it, you know, you're working on this in private. <coughs> and so I'm starting to cough now as I'm talking about. talking about health but someone here is worried about their health and I need to get this message across to you that you're going to be okay um, you need to start working on this though you need to put your focus and your time on your health and that is for you know for everyone watching me also you need to be um, super super clear in your mind and work on your health and work on you right now and I feel like that's why we have like this this time span of walking alone because there's some type of journey here that is necessary for you to walk alone and that might be why it feels difficult to walk alone down this journey right now but you're not alone spirit is telling you very clearly here that that um the spirits are with you. There's actually someone here from the other side beside you, Pisces. And you feel them. I'm actually feeling like there's three specific people here that are with you. You're not alone. There's the energy of a mother here also with you, Pisces. That's showing up strongly. That is um, like like right behind the veil here, like right behind you. This person pushes you and gives you strength also. But um, these are the messages I have for you, Pisces, that came through in the tarot. I know this was a longer reading, but I was getting this feeling, you know, like the... Like this is dragging out. There's some type of lonely feeling that seems to be dragging out. See, it's like you're waiting for something, expecting something. And there's this, this hesitation in the energy where um, you just feel alone here. And then there's this false person that... You know, you could be expecting to hear from this person. And it's simply because maybe you just, you know this person is a false person. You know they're not truthful, not honest. That you are connecting here with. But, see, you're thinking about them. But it's like the universe has a gift for you here. And there's someone here that is not a false person in your energy that's going to show up. It's just not the right time yet. Yeah, it's like this person is somewhere else in their life. This is someone who's very honorable. Um... They're going through like some type of worry or concern right now in their energy. They got something else going on. 
But I feel like, like I kept seeing for the past couple days, you two will meet each other in divine timing. Your paths will come together. Spirits, what does Pisces need to know? Advice for Pisces. You and your loved ones are safe. New moon and cancer. So you are safe. And you're protected, Pisces. And then you have nothing will come of this situation. Void, of course, moon. And I feel like, you know, you're Pisces. There's someone here that's not honest. They're not truthful. They're wearing a false mask. And you could be expecting something from them, you know. But nothing's going to come of that situation. You shouldn't be expecting anything from them is what spirits are telling you because this, this person wears a mask. They can't even expect anything from themselves. So you need to let that go and look ahead and focus on yourself right now. The end of a tough cycle approaches, and this is full moon in Capricorn. And then you have, don't let pride get in your way, full moon in Leo. And ex expect powerful change, new moon eclipse. All right, Pisces, I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here with me. Thank you guys for... Um, all of your beautiful comments and your donations to the channel. Um, thank you for liking and subscribing. And I will see you guys tomorrow, Pisces. Namaste.